OK, so uh, we know that we can write, or rather draw, a discrete probability distribution in this tabular format. OK, we've seen this a few times now. Um, but sometimes we might find it written in another way. OK, so rather than having it in a table, sometimes it, it makes sense to have it in a slightly more compact form. So in this case, we can see that the numbers at the top of the fraction here in the numerator are exactly the same numbers as the x's. Okay? So what we could write is that the probability of x being equal to x is equal to uh, each of the x's over 10, where the x values are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is a new way of writing down the probability distribution. So it can be written in two different ways. This tabular method, or as this kind of equation method. Okay, And usually this one is a little bit more compact. You sometimes have to think a little bit more about what the distribution looks like. But what we're going to see is we're going to look at an example of using this in the next video and then answering a few questions on it.